Hear these words, O God. Hear our hearts. Lift our lives. And may the words which I speak and the words and actions of our, of our lives be guided and directed by you, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. It's confession time. There is a lectionary that we generally follow. It's somewhat in some fashion. And I got to this week and I got an email from, um, from Brenda uh, sometime midday on Tuesday saying, uh, Tim, did you forget to send me the stuff for the service? And I had. We'd been working on the covenanting service for tonight, and I just forgot about sending her the stuff for this service. But the point that she sent it to me on Tuesday, I had so many other things crowding my thoughts that I didn't send her the actual scriptures for today. Three of them, the first three were. The fourth one, the gospel lesson, should have been Jesus on the mount with to, to the disciples, three of the disciples, uh, Peter, James, and John, and the whole story of the transfiguration. You got blind Bartimaeus because by the time I got the email with her, my heart was sore. Um, ten days ago, I got emails from close friends of mine telling me that a good friend of theirs and a relative was missing. And we all know the story of Jessica Lloyd. By Monday, her body had been found. And we were all grieving that. I went to a, to a meeting on Monday night where a good friend of mine was there and he was grieving because one of his work associates is now a serial killer. Um, a friend of mine is a, is a lieutenant colonel in the army and was feeling very much both sides of the story. And by Tuesday morning I had heard the news that my good friend Bill Whiston had passed away. And you just start to think, can we take any more? How much pain and sorrow do we listen to? And of course, I'm at a point in my life where that awakens so many issues and, and feelings within me. Uh, I've suffered my own losses, as some of you know. Um, and I thought, what, what's it all about? And you have that sense you just want to gripe? You want to gripe about the world? You want to wander around in the wilderness of this life just feeling lost and grumbling and griping and going, why do the good die young? Why do bad things happen to good people? Uh, how do you make sense of the senseless? And it, it just all piles up. And I was reading through the scriptures and I saw that scripture about the blind man leaping up to declare Jesus. I want to digress for a moment because sometimes the things we gripe about aren't those big things. Sometimes they're the little things of life. And I know a minister who uh, he had worked hard in a building project of his church. They built, were building a new building and he had, there's all the little details you're building a building, all the little things to manage and it's just, it's overwhelming. Anybody ever built a building or built a house or been a part of a building project knows if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Something will be delayed, something will happen, get your opening date all set and you're not going to get there. This guy walked into the sanctuary one morning and a painter was painting the doors of some closets and he was painting them light gray or light blue I mean to say anyway color doesn't really matter the guy was painting them this color a light blue and he knew that the sanctuary required it to be painted in light gray that was on the plans and he said to the guy well, what are you doing? he said I'm painting the doors he says but you're supposed to be painting them like gray. And the guy said, well, well, I'm painting them like blue. And he says, yeah, but that's not the point. I'm telling you, they're supposed to be like gray. And the guy says, I'm painting them like blue. And he said, look, you know, I know the plans. The plans say they're supposed to be painted like gray. And the worker says, I'm painting them like blue. And finally he says, well, why are you, I want you to stop. I want you to paint them like gray. And the guy says, if you want to paint them light gray, then you tell my supervisor to give me light gray paint. 